first piece of vocabulary right after the shoot is distance. And distance is usually uh, annotated as a lowercase d in the notes here. Uh, distance is just that. It's how far you've traveled. I like to tell students that this is what a pedometer would read. If, you're, if you have a pedometer on your belt and you're walking around, it measures how many steps you've taken, how far you've gone. Likewise, with an odometer in your car, it measures your distance. Of course, when you travel anywhere, you have to know where you start and where you, where you wind up. And that is denoted by position. Position is where you're at. And in the notes again, uh, position is given by an X. Uh, X, your position at any one time is just given as X. Now your position at time zero, when you first started paying attention, that is denoted by an X with a little zero next to it. Sometimes it's called X sub zero or your initial position. It's where you started. X sub zero is where you started, your starting point, your initial position. Your X is your position sometime later. This slide makes the very important distinction between displacement and distance. Distance, as, as we've already said, is a lowercase d. It's how far you've gone. It's something that could be measured on a pedometer or an odometer. But what if you were told, take three steps? Well, couldn't you go in any direction and your, your pedometer would still say three steps? It doesn't matter. You can you walk north, you could walk east, you could walk west, you could walk south, but you wind up in different places, different positions compared to your starting point, depending on which way you go. That's where displacement comes in. So whereas distance is just how far you go, how many steps you take, whatever your pedometer reads, displacement is how far you've gone with respect to your starting position given a direction. So displacement is essentially distance with direction.